Taiwan learning from Ukraine to prepare for attack of China, Ireland's vice president. Taipei is studying the tactics being employed by the Ukrainian military against Russia in its preparations for a potential attack. The island's new vice president, Cao Bikim, has said. Her comments come as Taiwanese president Lai ching has been voicing concerns that Beijing, which sees Taiwan as an inalienable part of its territory, has allegedly outlined the island's annexation and the elimination of the Republic of China as the great rejuvenating cause of its people, suggesting that the mainland would stop at nothing to take control of the island. Speaking at an event hosted by Chatham House, a British think tank in London, Bikim insisted that Taiwan must reform and decentralize its military command structure, adding that the government is actively learning from Ukraine's defense, where smaller combat forces have proven nimble and adaptable. The vice president, who was elected last month, further claimed that authoritarian regimes were seeking to influence and destabilize other nations through hybrid operations such as political warfare, cyber intrusion, economic coercion, and the threat of military force. In light of this supposed threat, Bikim stated that the Taiwanese government has already taken a number of steps to boost its ability to react in the event of an attack. These include the doubling of the island's defense budget, extending mandatory military service from four months to a year, the prioritization of new arms acquisitions and other measures, some of which have been inspired by Ukraine, she said. At the same time, despite the geopolitical tensions, the vice president also suggested the possibility of enabling commercial partnerships with the mainland, stating that Taipei has an interest in working with people across the Taiwan Strait in forging a stable environment in which people can pursue prosperity. Meanwhile, Beijing has denounced Taiwan's new government, branding its new president a dangerous separatist and launching military exercises around the island following Lai's inauguration last month. The Chinese government has continued to insist that it remains committed to peaceful reunification, but has warned that such a prospect is increasingly being eroded by separatists for Taiwan's independence and foreign forces, according to Chinese Defense Minister Dong Jun. An old and used rail bridge caught fire in Richmond, British Columbia on Thursday evening, sending a huge plume of smoke into the sky over Metro Vancouver in Canada. The cause of fire is unknown. The nearby Oak Street Bridge was closed in both directions while firefighters fought the fire, local authorities reported. Firefighters arrived to see heavy smoke and flames coming out of the building. They got water on it quite quickly and knocked down the fire quite quickly but there was some extension onto the trestle bridge just to the north of there, said Grant Weyenberg, assistant deputy chief of operations with Richmond Fire Rescue. Weyenberg said he suspected the burning bridge was covered in creosote, which was producing the heavy black smoke, which could be seen from many areas of Vancouver to the north. The Metro Vancouver Regional District issued an air quality bulletin, asking anyone with shortness of breath, chest discomfort, severe coughing or dizziness to seek medical help. The fire was extinguished on Friday. This morning we will be reviewing air quality information and updating our air quality bulletin as appropriate, the district said on X, formerly known as Twitter. The nearby Vancouver International Airport, located around 2 kilometers from the site of the incident was not affected by fire and continues its operations, the airport said in a statement on X.